Hello, and welcome to the Oracle Apex Tutorial 8 Up and Downloading Files Video Training Exercise Part 1, brought to you by MS Consulting. This tutorial focuses on creating and testing the base application and reports. On the screen is a list of assumptions and requirements for this tutorial, as well as the location of a full article with more in depth information about what we're going to be covering. So, to get started, as usual, what we're going to do is first thing is we're going to log into Apex. And we'll give it our password here. And we'll log in. And we're going to be jumping around here, so we're going to go to Application Builder. We're going to go to Create. We're going to create an application. We're going to give it a name. In this case, we're going to call it Download App. Everything else is OK. We're going to click Next. We're going to insert one blank page. And we don't need to give it a name at all. We can just leave it as is. And we're going to go Next. And we're going to do one level of tabs and no shared components and all of the default attributes are okay and for user interface we are going to select theme number two I'm going to go next it'll ask us to confirm we'll go ahead and confirm and then we're going to go right into editing page one we're going to click on page one and we're going to create a region and it's going to be an HTML region with an HTML container and we're going to call it upload or submit file sorry getting ahead of myself. I'm going to go next. And source is okay as is. We're going to click create region. And it goes ahead and it creates that region. We're then going to create an item. And this item is going to be a file browse item, which will enable us to browse our local system for the file we want. Go next. We're going to give it an item name, a file name, and the region is going to be submit file. Click next. The default attributes are all fine, so we'll click next. And the source is OK as is, so we're going to click create item. And the next thing we need to do is we need to create a button. So we're going to scroll down and we're going to go on button to create a button and it's going to go in the submit file area and we're going to create a button in a region position click next the button name is going to be submit and then I'll just click anywhere outside that box and the system will automatically capitalize the button name and create the button label to be exactly the same And so we'll click next the image attributes and template is OK. We'll click Next. The display properties are all OK, so we'll click Next. And it's going to branch to page one, and we click Create Button. Now we have that. We'll go up here, and we'll say Run the page. As you can see, we have to log in first. Log in, and here we have that we can browse our files. And you can see we can see files, and we're just going to cancel out of this. Then we're going to go back to our edit page one. I will note that a lot of the data in this will be different from what you may see on your screen. We're going to create a new region. 
and this time it's going to be a report region. And click next. And it's going to be an SQL report. And its title is going to be Uploaded Files. And we're going to drop in the SQL source, which is available in the full article, and then click Create Region. And then once we get that, what we do is we're going to run the page again, and you'll see at the bottom is an Uploaded Files. This is the area that may differ in this tutorial from what you see on your screen. We're going to go back to Edit Page 1 and we're going to come down to regions and going to click on the report link next to uploaded files and then what we're going to do is we're going to edit the ID column I'm going to click the pencil here to the left of it what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here to link and we're going to put in our link text which is going to be pound sign and then ID in capitals and then another pound sign and its target is going to be a URL and then the actual URL name is going to be P question mark N equals pound ID pound what this does is this sets it up so that the link will have the same value as the actual file identifier. We click Apply Changes. We click Run. You can now see that the files listed in Uploaded Files are now links that you can use. And you click on one and it says, do you want to download it? We're going to click Cancel on that and we're going to go back to our home and we're going to click on SQL Workshop. We're going to be creating a custom table to store additional attributes for the files. We're going to click SQL Commands and we're going to paste in our SQL command which is available in the full article. I'm going to click Run and you'll see that it says Table Created. And now once the table is created we're going to go back home then we're going to click Application Builder and we're going to go back to our download application and we're going to click Page 1 and we're going to create a new item and this time it's going to be a text item so we'll go cl click Text and then Next and then the default here is OK, so we'll click Next. We'll give it a new, we'll give it a name. In this case, the name is going to be Subject, and the region is going to be Uploaded Files. Click Next. The item attributes are all OK as they are, so we'll click Next. and then the item source is OK so we'll click create item and then one last thing we're going to do in this part of the tutorial we're going to create a process it's a PLSQL process I'm going to click next it's going to be called insert file description everything else is OK we're going to click next and we're going to enter the actual process. Click Next. We're going to give it a success message of subject inserted and a failure message of error inserting subject. I'm going to go Next. And we set it so that it goes when we click the Submit button. We click Create Process. That's it for this section. We'll see you in the next one.